The Blue Candlelight music series has been a gem in the Dallas classical music scene for 18 years. And our home is the actual home of Richard and Enika Schultz. As we're pulling up here, we will see the cheery faces of our partners, the Gold Crown Ballet. So excited to finally hear live music with a live audience. Let's go in. Once you've checked in at the welcome table, hmm, don't forget to check out the items from the Blue Candlelight Music Store. The polos and the wine glasses are my favorite. Now let's have a refreshing glass of wine at the bar. Hmm. And the buffet. That's usually delectable. Hmm. Let me see if we can meet our caterer. Wow. When you hear the bell, it is time to make your way to the acoustically magnificent performance space and meet our enthusiastic board and the thronging crowd. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. Welcome back. We've missed you, and we trust you've missed us, too. But the Blue Candlelight Music Series is back, with a whole new season and a few changes. Artistic Director Dr. Baya Cockerberry will be out in a moment to share some exciting news about our first two concerts of the season. But first, let me explain about these changes. Given certain circumstances, from which we are all far too familiar, I'm sure, for at least these first two concerts, we will be unable to gather together in person to share these musical experiences here in our own intimate space at the beautiful home of Richard Nienica Schultz. All the details about these programs, how to access them, really everything you need to know to share in these virtual Blue Candlelight experiences will be available first on our website, bluecandlelight.org. And while you're on the website, be sure to check out all the items for sale in our BCMS store. Browse our people and our mission and take a look at prior seasons and so much more. Now keep in mind, these first two concerts will be provided virtually and free of charge. So while you're on the website, we hope you'll consider making a donation to help us keep the series going and to help us continue supporting artists through these difficult, troubled times. For those of you on our mailing list, all of this information will be provided in an email directly, as well as reminders before each concert so you don't miss a thing. For those of you who are not on our mailing list, we can remedy that pretty easily too. Again, simply go to the website, click on the Contact Us tab, fill in the information, and click Submit. After that, we'll be able to send you notifications as well of upcoming concerts and special events. And rest assured, none of your information is ever shared with any outside third parties. Now, in keeping with normal tradition, I'd like to especially thank Richard and Enica Schultz for opening their home to us for yet another Blue Candlelight Music Series season. So, thank you, Richard, and thank you, Enica. And also keeping with tradition, I'd like to invite Richard up to say a few words. So, Richard? Well, I'm at this point, I usually tell you where the bathrooms are. But I don't have to do that, because you all know where your 
bathrooms are in their homes. But our bathrooms here in this house are clean and neat and they're readily available for the next in-person concert. And uh, I also normally handle all of the leftovers from people, people like lipstick tubes and umbrellas and coats and sunglasses. And if you want to retrieve your stuff, I'll give you my email. <laughs> How about we wait until they all come back? Thank you, Richard. Gracious as always. And now, I'm excited to introduce Baya Kakaberry to give us some details on the first two concerts of the season. Baya? Good evening. Before I introduce you to our new season, I would love to remind our fans and music lovers that we had to interrupt our 18th season in March when pandemic invaded our world. Since we were unable to reinvite the artists who were originally scheduled for our seasons, I'm pleased to announce that we were able to secure our new season by inviting our local musicians and I can't thank them enough for their efforts and for their art. We decided to open our virtual concerts in October. Uh, we'll conduct two concerts and as Dale mentioned before, our subscribers will receive the link prior to the concerts via email or you always can find the information on our website. First concert in October will be dedicated to composers of Romantic Era and will be performed by musicians such as Anton Nell, Gary Levinson, and Andres Diaz. Second concert, we assume that we will be able to air this concert by the end of the year, will present pieces by black composers of 18th and 19th century as well as our contemporary, well-known pianist, composer, educator, and Steinway artist, Arlington Jones. As you can see, we will continue providing you with the same world-class artists and programming that you've come to expect from us. In fact, we'll even add a young starlight here and there along the way to keep up with our tradition of introducing you to the young talent that is the future of classical music. So mark the dates and join us for the first concert as we kick off yet another exciting season of Blue Candlelight Music Series events. And keep checking the website regularly because that's where we'll be providing updates and adding additional details as they become available. And know this, however possible, we will continue to provide music to you, our loyal supporters, throughout this madness. And please, while we are keeping our concerts going so we can employ our musicians, your donations will help us to support them, to keep the lights on until we'll meet again in person. And again, those donations could be made very easily on our website at bluecandlelight.org. So please, join us for these first few concerts Enjoy them and take them as a reminder of the things that really matter in life. Music, art, friends, and family. And speaking of family, and to help us wrap this up, we'd like to present to you a young starlight performance of a brief but very topical piece.
got it. Yeah, yeah, I think this is a really, really good video. I think it yeah, went very well. nice. Yeah, yeah. You know, next time, is there any chance maybe I could be in it? Oh, God. Damn Actually, really? well, I mean, I, it's, you know, I never really know what I look like on camera because I'm always. I know you are. But it's difficult, you know? I mean, sometimes. Well, let's just get the car. Let's get the car. All right, here we are. All right. Seriously? Whoa. Tell you what, I'll get the car. Right. Well, how about? You want to do another take? Well, what if you? Yeah. What, what if you held the camera? I just want to see what I look like. Okay. Can we do that? We'll do. Give me the camera. All right, here we we'll do another take with you. In the camera. Yeah. All, All right. right. What are my lines? Uh, you know your lines, right? Oh. Uh. All right. Hold on. Wait. Let me turn on the camera. <laughs> 